And our type of data values in MATLAB are arrays. Arrays could be considered as matrices that we study in linear algebra, for example. Um, they can be arrays in one row and multiple columns. They can, there can be one column and multiple row arrays, which we call vectors. And we can also have arrays which have multiple columns and multiple rows, which are typically our matrices. In MATLAB, you can create 2D arrays, 1D arrays, 3D arrays, uh, whatnot. If you have uh, functions that change with time, we can actually uh, work with them and um, make them uh, or, or store data for any time point. So when I said A is equal to 2 previously and said whose, the size is one by one, which means there's only one column and one row in this array. But if I say b is equal to, and start this uh, bracket and say one, two, three, four, five, six, and I put space in between them, which means they're all in the same row but multiple columns, and put a semicolon after them, say whose, see that whose uh, or B is a one by six matrix or array, 48 bytes because I have eight numbers or six numbers, each one is for eight bytes and they're all dabble. I can also say int 64, let me call BI is equal to int 64 B. And now who's, and now the size of in terms of bytes is the same, but its class is different. Anyway, the next way to define arrays is to go uh, in a one column and multiple rows. But before I go that, let me just tell you that I could actually say B is equal to something like this. If I, instead of putting space, put commas, it would still be the same thing. Then change, in fact, if I say who's B, still one by six array. Let's close this. It says C is now equal to one semicolon, two semicolon, three semicolon, four semicolon, five semicolon, six. And now who's B and C. See that the size of C is exactly the inverse of the size of B. If I type B and press enter, it's gonna print all the numbers in one row. If I type C, it's going to print all the numbers in one column. Another way to define arrays basically is do a two by two array, which is a matrix. D, for example, is equal to brackets, one, two, three, semicolon, four, five, six, semicolon, seven, eight, nine. And now who's D? It's a three by three matrix which I can use to do multiple stuff with that. But it's important to remember that the number of columns must match in each of the rows. So I have one, two, three columns here. The second row, which starts after this semicolon, should have three variable or three numbers in there. And the number of columns in the third row must, must also be the same as the number of columns in the first and second rows. For example, if I had said D is equal to one, two, three, semicolon, four, five, six, and forgot to put a semicolon, put eight or seven there, and then eight and nine. It would not let me to do that because the dimensions of the rows, basically number of columns in each of the row is not consistent. So I had D or C, which was a column array or a column matrix, which we call also a vector. But if I wanted to convert it into a 1D array or one row and multiple or six columns, I could say CA, for example, is equal to C, put this uh, epistrophe there, which means transposes of a matrix. And let me not just put, let me not put the uh, semicolon just to see what will happen after I press enter here. As you can see, CA became a one row and six column matrix or array. So who's C and CA, just to compare the two, CA became something like B. 
in order to access a certain value inside a uh, array, you put the array down name and then start with parentheses. So I'm going with C, which has six rows and one column. So I want to, let's say I want to get to the third row and only one column. I can't reach uh, more other columns besides one. Gives me three because one, two, three is the third column or actually in here, the third row and the first only column that I have in my matrix. For B, for instance, which is actually a uh, one row and multiple column, if I said B, row one, column four, should give me value four because the fourth column is actually four. And the next thing, would go for uh, D, which was a three by three matrix. You can just type it. D is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a, in a three by three matrix. Let's say I want to get to the fifth, uh, the number five, which is one, two, the second row, and one, two, the second column. So D, two, two, would give me number five. If I said D, row three, column one, so the third row and first column, which would be seven, gives me number seven. Now for B, if I wanted to get all the data from three to six and not worry about the first two variables, I could write B, there's only one column or one row. I want to go from three to either six, if I know the size of the array, or I could also say three to end, if I don't know how many columns I have in that row. So I can say, I can see that it's printing three, four, five, six. I can also say, give me the partial three to five. And it gives me three, four, five. It doesn't give me uh, six at the end. In our way to call something, if I go to B actually again, the first row from one to and every every two step to end. So basically what I want to do in here is to go one, let me first print B. I want to print one, three, five, I mean all the odd columns in the um, in the array. So I can say B row one from first every two increment till end. So it's going to print one, three, five. And I can do the same thing with a vector like C. And I have multiple uh, column, multiple rows in one column. Now let's do this time two every two to end and the only one column. So two, four, six is printed there. So you'll see this and let's take a look at C again, or actually D. Now I want to get these five, six, eight, nine out of the C. So I want to create, or I want to extract a two by two matrix from the three by three D. I'm going to call that E and say it's C from the row five, six, so this is the second row to the third row, so rows two to three, and column two to three, also two, two, three. And it will give me, it should have given me something, but it said it, index doesn't exist. Index in position two exists array bounds. I'm trying to figure out so, oh, actually, I said I should have given D, not C. Okay, that was my mistake. You can come back here and make it D. Now you can see that E is equal to 5, 6, 8, 9. So 5, 6, 8, 9. What I was hoping to have. Print D again. Now let's say I want to get 1, 3, 7, 9. So let's create a, a variable, an array called end 
for index and say one and three and say f is equal to d and end so as you can see i created an array called end with two numbers in there one three and i passed that into my d matrix as the number of rows and the number of columns i want to extract from it and rows one and three columns one and three are uh, extracted for and in variable f so row one three seven nine are in row one column one row one column three row three column one and row three column three we can also do something else change f to d for the rows i want to still keep those ends but for the columns i want to get all the columns so if i put this column here which means get everything and if i do that now f becomes one two three seven eight nine basically all the columns in, in the first row and all the columns in the third row which are the indices that i passed through the number of rows but for the number of columns i gave this column which means give all the columns in each row if i look at f or uh, b it's a one by six array so it's going from right to left or left to right one two three four five six what if i wanted to inverse it to make it six five four three two one b f b flipped is equal to flip left right and it works for variables or arrays which are in rows and give the variable b to that that becomes six five four three two one basically it invert the uh, variable or the array b from uh, one left to right to right to left so clear this c is a one column vector and i want to inverse it so that it goes six five four three two one in that one column so cf is equal to flip up down c now it becomes six five four three two one clc i had a vector or a matrix d if i apply flip right left to this so df is equal to flip right left right to d you see that three becomes so the third row or third column became the first column and the first column became the third column the second column didn't change because you only have a three by three matrix now if i do df is equal to df or flip up down df now it changed from this into this now the third row and the first row are changed the only thing that didn't change in here is just the number five which was at row two column to exactly the center of this three by three matrix and one thing i did in here i replaced an existing variable df with a new variable and the input to this function flip up down was exactly the same as df that i had created before so you can actually do this update the value of a value of a, a, a variable in matlab as you go through your script and scripts are what we'll be, we're going to be talking about later uh, as we get more developed in these courses so this is the um, first lesson on arrays and matlab uh, next i'll explain how to multiply um, and add subtract variables and arrays and matlab